Hi everyone, welcome to School of Scarlet. Today I have another message for you. So as I was coming out here, um, I found a cicada shell stuck to this um, little fishing area that I'm at and I saw a brown owl. So if that's significant to anyone, I just wanted to share that. Also, I was planning to film this video with my horses. I know that that's something that I have been wanting to do and some people have been asking about my horses. So I wanted to film with them, but I also have cows in there and they were really, really uh, hungry. So they were like mooing really loud. So that might be significant to someone. You can kind of hear, they're still kind of mooing. Um, it's about 6 p.m. here, which is their dinner time. And I have been taking care of the homestead here. Usually it's my husband and I that take care of everything. And he has been kind of dealing with some different things. He has um, had, his vision kind of was gone for a while, so he couldn't see. So I was helping, you know, with everything during that time. But now he's had surgery and he's not allowed to like lift heavy things or, you know, all of that. So I am taking care of the homestead by myself. And so um, I'm getting ready to feed them. So that's what's coming next. But it also got me to thinking how um, I began here. And if you're not familiar with my other channel, I have a homesteading channel called Scarlet's Intuitive Life. And on that channel, I just posted in the community tab about bees. The way I got started here was with bees and I started beekeeping. So that's how I got started here. But it got me thinking about what the tasks entail here on the homestead and some of the harder tasks. And um, I guess today's message came out of that. So I was thinking about the goats that I had. After I got my bees, I got goats and I would um, use my goats um, for the goat's milk and I was making goat's milk soap. But the major issue that I had with the goats was them breaking and escaping through fences. And that's sort of the similar sort of thing I have with the horses and the cows is that they like to break and test fences. And oftentimes it's not always just them. It could be the weather, a tree falls down and breaks the fence. And it's really something that we have to tend to immediately. And I remember back with the goats, it was almost like a daily thing with them. Um, goats are known to be escape artists and they're constantly either escaping the fence, breaking them, testing them. Most of the times they would escape them, but oftentimes they would break or find ways to um, expand their way out of little holes and all kinds of stuff. So I had all kinds of little ways to fix all of that. But every time the fence was broken, I had to do something immediately to fix that fence. Why? Because on a homestead, you can lose an animal and that's, you know, your income. A lot of the times, you know, I was making goat's milk soap and with the cows, you know, that's your milk, um, your horses, those are very valuable to you. And I mean, as well as being your pets. So as soon as a fence gets broken, it's something that needs to be immediately tended to. And so what's coming through today is that oftentimes in our lives, we have situations that uh, sometimes go awry. You know, there's issues, right? It could be in a relationship. Maybe there's an argument. Maybe there's something that is a misunderstanding or something goes wrong, right? Or, you know, it's with the relationship with your child or maybe with your family, something happens, right? Sometimes there's things at work uh, that have to be fixed. Something goes wrong and something needs to get fixed there. Um, sometimes there's big emergencies and things that happen in life and um, we got to deal with those. And so what's coming through is that we need to tend to mending our fences immediately. It's not something to put off for another day. It's not something to prolong or to sit in and kind of wallow in for a long time. It's something that you got to work quick. So when a horse or a goat gets loose here, we immediately stop everything that we're doing and we go get the things that we need to do to mend the fence. That's something that we have to do immediately. And we get our animal, we put them back in the fence um, and then we secure everything. It's something that we have to do immediately. And so what's coming through today is that oftentimes we find that there are situations that really we're not actually mending. We're just allowing it to continue to be a broken fence, which is why we're feeling like our energy is being depleted, Why is which is why we feel like there is a hole or something wrong, because really there is. And so the thing that's coming through as well is a story that um, a pastor way back when I was going to this church uh, was talking about. He talked about a news story or an article he was just reading about a man whose daughter was murdered by someone. And in the article, he mentioned that the most powerful thing that that man said 
was that he will never, ever forgive this person for what he did to his daughter. And the pastor really made an impact on me when he said this, because he said, as soon as that person said that, that was going to pretty much be the rest of their life was going to be now this kind of anger or unforgiveness about this, which is going to bleed into every aspect of their lives. That's the same way as with the horses or the goats. When we allow something to stay open and broken and not really tender men to it, it really affects us. You know, if I was to just let the goats just be out and never really fix that fence and just leave that hole open, I would lose, you know, my ability to get the um, milk from them. I would probably lose that goat entirely. It would probably go somewhere into the forest and might even get killed. Um, my horses could get lost, could get hurt in the road. Something could happen. So it would bleed into all kinds of things and it would just begin to affect other aspects of my life. So we're really called right now to whatever issue that is going on in your life. It's important to make repairs quickly and not really wallow in this kind of um, sorrow and things for too long. We are living in each moment as it is brand new. Each moment is truly born brand new. So we can forgive and we can move forward and we can literally mend that fence almost immediately with forgiveness. But if we don't forgive, if we say like that man said, we will never ever forgive this person for what they did, that is exactly what will happen. We will have a hole, we will have a leakage of energy, of life force through us for the rest of our lives. So it's time to mend and forgive some of those things. And you often hear that forgiveness is not for the other person. It is for ourselves. And that is very, very true. If we do not forgive, it is literally like having a rock in your shoe and you're just walking around with it for the rest of your life. If you just stop and take that rock out of your shoe, it won't hurt you anymore. It won't be there anymore. It'll be gone. So it's time to forgive. It's time to let go of those things that are no longer serving us. Those things that are allowing for, you know, leakage of our energy, those unmended areas of our heart. Our heart is a very forgiving space. It really does allow for forgiveness and it really repairs itself quite quickly. It's almost like a child. See, we are actually meant to be like children. And so children really, if you notice how they are, things will happen. Um, you know, maybe they have a fight or, you know, something over a toy with another child and they're really, really passionate about it. You know, they're arguing, they're fighting. They might even hit the child. They might even kick the child. They'll fight between each other. And then, you know, the teacher will come in and explain, you know, you need to use your words, ask him for a turn with your toy. And as soon as the teacher goes in or whatever happens to mend that situation, the child will quickly forgive. And the next thing you know, these children are playing again as friends. And that is how we are meant to be. We are meant to be light, really light. And what's coming through is that our heart is light. Everything that we are is light. And we, if we go into the darkness and we don't allow for that light, then we get lost in the dark. And so it's time to bring light to those areas. We really need to lighten up is what I'm hearing. Lighten up about these things. Allow them to go through you, to move through you and forgive. And allow this forgiveness to really work in a way that your fences are now mended again. That your heart is now back in its, com in its complete form. Um, when we allow it to kind of just be ripped open or, you know, people say broken hearted, it truly is like that. It's like our heart is broken and things are just leaking out and nothing is there contained. Um, but the mending of the heart is very easy. We simply need to just forgive like children and move forward. So can you make those repairs? In a relationship, one of the main things that allows a relationship to continue on and to grow stronger and stronger is quickly repairing those times where there's a misunderstanding or there's some sort of lack of communication. So when these things happen, we have to make a repair. And these repairs are very natural and they're actually for us. So today's message is coming forth for someone that needs to make a repair. So if you need to make a repair today, see it like a child. You're just going to forgive and you're going to go back to playing because this is just a game here. And if you sit there in the corner and you wallow and you get upset and you don't forgive, you're not gonna have a very good time on this game and you're not gonna have a very good time on this earth. So it's time to forgive. Get that rock out of your shoe. It doesn't belong there. 
You're meant to freely walk this earth without any burdens. So I hope that this message found you well. If it resonated with you, give me a thumbs up, a heart, comment down below how it resonated with you. I love getting all of your comments. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and being here. I hope that you'll subscribe or tune back in. Thank you so much, and I love you all.